Welcome to Tethered Thoughts with Bossa De Santos, your daily podcast where I deliver powerful God truths to fuel your success. My name is Bossa De Santos, your host, and I'm honored to journey with you towards attaining a success mindset. I lead Romans 8 19 Ministries, where we equip Christians to know who they are and what they have in Christ so they can live audacious and impactful lives. In each bite-sized episode, we'll dive into scriptures which affirm the mindsets which have propelled successful leaders, innovators, and visionaries to the heights they've attained. Join me every weekday for a quick, potent dose of eternal wisdom meets contemporary success. Hello friends and fellow world changers, welcome to today's episode. It's Wednesday and we're on episode 33. Trust you're taking remarkable strides already this week. Our scripture focus today is Philippians 4 verses 6 and 7. And I'll be reading from the J.B. Phillips New Testament translation. It says, don't worry over anything whatever. Tell God every detail of your needs in earnest and thankful prayer and the peace of God which transcends human understanding will keep constant guard over your hearts and minds as the rest in Christ Jesus. What comfort! Today's title is Peace Beyond Understanding. Philippians 4 verses 6 and 7 encourage believers not to be anxious or not to be drawn in different directions about anything, but to present their requests to God with thanksgiving, promising that the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. In this episode, we're exploring the profound wisdom of these verses and how they offer a pathway to peace in the middle of life's uncertainties. See, anxiety can have profound detrimental effects on mental, emotional, and even physical well-being from persistent worry and fear to physical symptoms such as heart palpitations, insomnia. Anxiety can significantly impact an individual's quality of life and even overall functioning. Moreover, chronic anxiety can lead to heightened stress levels impaired decision making and strained relationships stressing the urgent need to address and manage anxiety effectively however by establishing a regular prayer routine carving out dedicated time each day for prayer and communion with god cultivating an attitude of gratitude by perhaps keeping a gratitude journal or regularly expressing thanksgiving for blessings, both big and small, engaging in meditative practices that help us to focus on and receive insight from God, seeking support from a trusted community of believers who can provide encouragement, accountability, and prayer support during times of anxiety will help us to counter anxiety and focus our hearts on the peace of God. What are the key takeaways from these two verses? Overcoming anxiety through prayer and thanksgiving, experiencing the matchless peace of God that defies human comprehension, understanding the role of trust and surrender in guarding our hearts and minds. John Foreman, the lead singer of the the band Switchfoot, faced a season of intense anxiety and doubt during his career. Struggling with the pressures of fame and expectations, he found himself overwhelmed by anxiety. However, through prayer and surrender, John experienced a profound peace that transformed his perspective and renewed his strength. His journey serves as a powerful testimony to the peace that Philippians 4 verses 6 and 7 offer to offers to those who trust in God amidst life's challenges. 
the success principles here are to prioritize prayer and thanksgiving as antidotes to anxiety, to cultivate trust in God's sovereignty and provision, embracing the supernatural peace of God as a source of strength and resilience. Philippians 4 verses 6 and 7 offer a profound prescription for finding peace in the midst of life's storms. By turning to God in prayer and thanksgiving, we can experience a peace that surpasses understanding, guarding our hearts and minds from the grip of anxiety and fear. Now here's a declaration to make and meditate on throughout today. I refuse to be anxious about anything, but in every situation, I present my requests to God with thanksgiving. I trust in his promise of peace that surpasses understanding, knowing that he guards my heart and mind in Christ Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for listening and taking action. I trust this episode has impacted you. Please subscribe so you'll never miss an episode. Also, if you know anyone who could use these truths, please share with them and be sure to rate us on Spotify, Apple Podcast, or wherever you get your podcast. Jesus entrusts us with the responsibility of being salt and light in the world. Both traits are nouns and verbs, who to be and what to do. Romans 8, 19 says the world is waiting for us to demonstrate God. So go out and make a difference today, even if it's just one heart at a time. May the grace of God empower you, his wisdom instruct you, and his love secure you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you and God bless. Have a successful day and see you again tomorrow.